My name is Paul. And I'm about to take you on a journey to a place called Afghanistan. Well, not that Afghanistan. This Afghanistan. <laughs> Afghanistan got ups and downs. Yes, In the event of my demise, when my heart can beat no more, I hope I die for a principle or a belief that I had lived for. I will die before my time because I feel the shadows depth so much I meant it to accomplish before I reached my death, Tupac Amaru Shaku. In March 1999, an abandoned building was illegally occupied by street children. After them followed an adult population. That was 10 years ago. In these past 10 years, I have always wondered what happened to my friends. I am planning to go find Sean, Mnaka and Sam just to ascertain where they are in life today. I remember this place, this place called Afghanistan. You know, we are all a lot of strangers there. And then we have to learn to love with one another. To love like a family, you know. But everything in this world comes to an end, you know. They say all good things come, come, come to an end. So it was a hard thing, you know, to accept it. so much you know, I was having a prediction about what's going to happen to this place. And this is what finally happened. This is what finally happened. It's not that uh, there really came a bomb, you understand? This is the time when the eviction started, you know, people have to go out of this place, you know. So I already knew this thing is going to happen. There's a big, huge rocket. You know, uh, this rocket, all of a sudden it just came boom, boom. Explode, you know, people must go out. Right on, boys. Hey, hey, man. Man. Hey, Yo. Sean has painted many memories in Afghanistan. He dedicated his life together with Mnaka to finding children sleeping in the streets and bringing them to Afghanistan. Through Sean, we will take our journey of memory through Afghanistan. I used to live with my mom and my brother. This was a nice place before me. I was being abandoned and stuff like that, so... Since then, nothing has been going on here. This is Afghanistan. One among the growing number of inner city slums like Pakistan in Hatfield and Uzbekistan in Berea. I'm on Saturday in Mamilo. Do you know Mamilo? They in extension 12. My father is Judah. Judah man, just him man. He sells the ganja they in Resik. Last time I go out because I was got defeat. You see man, you see feet. In basket? Yeah. 
I was going to defeat. Now I play this as snooker, you know snooker man. Yeah. I play this as snooker, take this as it, I put it yeah, so outside. No, I, 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 na, I, na, ne, I, na, ne, sa, sa. These are rude boys outside, you see, man. I man go out there. I get this a bicycle, it's not there. And this a man for bicycle, if I if I man. I man go out, you see, man. Because that man, he said, you need this a bicycle, you see, man. I go to Rastafara, I go to a lawyer. And like, eh, Spanish is in this, I see. Some people who don't support me, man, go on. Any work, as long as I can get a paid, you see. I must give my mother something feature, you see, man. So my mother, I must, I must not need so far, you see. I'm man. Sean has painted many memories in Afghanistan, and I would believe that the faces themselves if he were able to paint all of them on these walls, he would. Perhaps now that is why he considers them to be ghosts that are only haunting him and perhaps the walls themselves. And now, right, eh? Kahelo romo na konyo na ba nungake na mere ko? And dani mara, ona le seki tisa ita musi ita. Aki tisa ip kita kara chale te kita si ita. Kahelo chale te ngasi kiri. Aono oren kasi ita. Wangu tisis. Wabo. But the thing is that it brings back the memory very fast, especially when I'm here, and I can see all these things. You know, it brings me back. It brings me back. You see. My name is Julius. My father is dead. Long time. Mm. That's all. What happened? A week after I was divorced, my wife married again and then was on the altars. Start drinking. You want the sup? <laughs> <laughs> drinking every day. Every, every day. Mm. Mm. It's a complex phenomenon, Afghanistan as they call it, is a classic example of people who want to live in the inner city area because there's employment opportunities, there's income producing opportunities for them and they cannot live far away in old apartheid townships where it costs them hundreds of rands to get to the place where they uh, earn their, their money. They simply can't do that. And I think it's unfair and unjust to expect them to just, as it were, disappear out of our faces and then come and work whenever it suits us. We say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Abdu wa Rasulullah. It means that there's only one God worthy of worship, and it's God himself. And Muhammad is the last and the final messenger of, of Allah, of God. Then I was heavy into this thing of mine about Islam, I'm Muslim, I'm Muslim. So I started to draw these things, you know. Whenever I got stress, whenever someone is giving me stress, I just come and I do something. This has been drawn with, uh, what do you call this, crayons. You see this glass with a 20, 20 of Rotman there, so 20 Rotman. With some kind of bottle there, which is like a tile, and there's, there's art inside the bottle, you see? After so many years coming here, you know, it brings back all the memory, the good memories, you know, not the bad. I never used to actually follow the bad memories, but the good memories. Everything is coming back slowly to me, you know. Yeah, so. So I used to draw this for them, just by drawing fast. They used to give me 60 bucks, 70 bucks to do it and stuff like that. Ten years back, I don't even remember it. Everything is coming back to me.
and it's just normal auto paint, you know. Like someone can like pass here, and then it comes off. But I did it with a what you call this a uh, sponge. And I have to make the cracks there. It must look like real stones, you know, ancient ones. Oh, 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 oh. It's still here. I remember I did the three things with off cuts of spray. Off cuts. Me and the boy called Romeo. Rock action was the name. He came carved to hounds of his junk appetite. His return from prison rights was harsh. Nah. Kebalilu from Gote Mawatambula and politically. But where are you staying? On the moment I don't have place now. I'm looking for a place now. Where do you stay? Hmm? Where do you stay? On the moment I sleep at the hospital because one of my friends is in the hospital. Yeah, I'm going to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to sleep. Until I want to bala a sana not not wada we are puma we are pan. The president I would have made you use him on. My phone gives him on the till I want to balum sava. So the Taranism called it to seize him on the Sashika Ukum Sava. I was built for the people who belong to this country. They are not built for us. And the Rabar Sarajaga in their food. I see. Truly and smiles of drunken seven year old uterine. Hail your death of youth dust, simmering over our canopies of soft scars. Stop, stop the lights. It kills. You know what I started with this thing, man? I came around the corner, I see this guy, he's like. Hey guy, wake up, wake up, wake up, the guy is dead. When I feel him, he's cold, ice cold, like an ice block. And he's no more, you know, this white people, the complexion is white. But he's becoming like a light blue complexion, you understand? That was a sign already that this guy was dead. He was right here on the spot, in this spot here. Huh? Somebody laid here, died. He was injecting himself. Glue is the drug of choice among street children, but it has adverse results on bones and specifically bone marrow. That is why you often find them sitting, their bones and joints in pain. Glue, glue. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this place is, is nice for us, but this place, they don't keep it clean. You see Rastafari, this place is dead. Every shack and I pay, but look there. Jama, yeah? Five rand, five rand, five rand, five rand, five rand, five rand but look there. Looks nice for you. Don't look nice, huh? But why you must pay five? And then they charge you 60 rand to stay here. I think the person who fights, Sean doesn't fight the streets, he fights in the streets. There has been streetwise another to cope with the streets. 
there is a difference between you coping in the streets and with the streets. So like two different breeds of street walkers, street crawlers and all kinds of people. I mean there is also a different kind of breed to a person who walk out of their kosher life and become informal, you know, like when somebody's been chucked out of their duplex and the only place they can end up is, is, a, is the streets kind of thing. There is that kind of streets and there is the streets which people like Sean and street kids in Afghanistan know. He came out of nothing. No, they call it, I call it relapse. I walked to this place. This place walked to me, I don't know how. How can I say it? But yeah, yeah that, that's the way how it is, you know. Sure, <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's in there. But I'm not going to live on my two weeks. I'm not going to go to my house. 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 Discovering a cold memory Brown Avenues Long roads forsaken, never taken By memories brewed and not shaken Take to flight to mysteries, open roads tonight. Oh, Now, sir.